There are several entity types recognized in New York State. Deciding which entity is right for your business idea is a personal decision between founders. Liability and tax matters play a role in that conversation. Liability here refers to an owner's obligation to pay the business's debts. Owners face different liability obligations depending on the company's legal form. How income and profits are taxed vary between entities as well. Let's take a look at liability issues in corporate formation. There are three types of liability a founder can face when choosing a company form. Full liability, joint and individual liability, or limited liability. An entity that subjects an owner to full liability means the owner is 100% on the hook for the debts of the company. This liability can extend into personal assets, meaning if the company does not have enough money to pay its debts, the owner will have to pay out of his or her own pocket. Joint and individual liability exists if there is more than one business owner. As an entity that subjects its owners to joint and individual liability, each owner is personally responsible for the full debts of the business. This means that even though there are multiple owners, the debts must be paid in full, whether the debts are paid equally by all owners or disproportionately. Joint and individual liability allows a creditor to seek full reimbursement from any owner. Like full liability, joint and individual liability can extend to the personal assets of a business owner. Entities that offer owners limited liability protect those owners' personal assets. Only the capital an owner invests in a limited liability organization, whether money or otherwise, is at risk of being lost to pay the debts of the company. Limited liability organizations protect the owners from personal responsibility to pay company debts. There are two categories of taxation in this area, pass-through taxation and double taxation. If the business is a pass-through entity, the profits are passed through to the owners and those monies are reported on the owner's personal tax return. Entities subject to double taxation are taxed first on company profits and any monies left over and distributed to the owners are reported as personal income on the individual tax returns. Next, we will landscape the entity options available to entrepreneurs in New York. Here is a table outlining the different entity types available for entrepreneurs in New York. This table outlines the tax and liability obligations that coincide with each entity type, as well as a brief description of the formation process. Both sole proprietorships and general partnerships expose individual owners to full liability. Profits are passed through to the owners of both entity types. Limited partnerships have one general partner and at least one limited partner designated in the partnership agreement. The general partner is fully liable for 100% of the business debts, while limited partners only risk losing the capital they've invested in the company. Profits secured in the operation of a limited partnership face pass-through tax treatment. Limited liability companies and corporations receive limited liability. Owners only risk losing the capital they have invested in the company. Limited liability companies may choose to be taxed as a pass-through entity or face double taxation. Corporations generally face double taxation. Owners that elect to form a benefit corporation and complete the formation requirements may elect either pass-through tax treatment or double taxation. S corporations, which are another special kind of corporation, may be taxed as a pass-through entity but there are strict ownership requirements in order to receive the designation of an S-corporation. Click on the entity type to learn more about formation.